Okay, so here is the starting idea in quadratic reciprocity. It's when we look at squares mod prime, how often do we see the number minus one? Hmm. So what for example is minus one mod three? That's just two mod three. Okay. So it's just one less than the number that you're that's the mod n. It's just n minus one. Alright, so why don't we circle the primes where we see 1 mod 3, or mod, sorry, minus, minus 1. So well, three, do we see it mod 3? Do we see minus 1 no, mod 3? No, we would be looking for 2. Okay. But, so no. No, alright. We don't see it at all. Well, um, right here we see 4. We see a lot of 4s four. actually. There's just clusters of 2 4s. Okay, so we see it mod 5. Alright, what about seven, mod 7? Mod 7 we're looking for 6, and we don't see that. Okay. Mod 11 we're looking for 10, we didn't see that. Alright. Mod 13 we see 12, 12, 12. Okay. 12. Alright. It's interesting because it goes 12, 10, 10, 12 when you see it. Hmm. Um, 17 we do see 16. Okay. 19, we don't see it. 20. I mean, could, it could mean that it comes later, yeah. and that we just haven't gotten to it. Right, yeah. 23, or don't see 22, it doesn't look like. 29, we see 28. Yeah. Okay. Actually, we've got another neat pattern. We see 28, 24, 22, 22, 24, 28. Hmm. 31, doesn't look like we see 30. Okay. 37, we see 36. 41, we see 40. 43, we see 42. And then... Seven. Where's forty-two? Forty-two. Oh, um. I, I don't see uh, forty-two. I think it's forty. It's in the next one. Oh, uh, it's in the next one. Okay. So we didn't. See we it. didn't see it. Not forty-three. Okay. And then we don't seem to see forty-six. Okay, so this is kind of a challenge problem for you here. So we saw it in 5, 13, 17, 29, 37, 41, but not in 3, 7, 11, 19, 23, 31, 43, or 47. There is a pattern there, or maybe a pattern might be the wrong word, but there's a way to describe the primes where you see it and the primes where you don't see it, and that's my challenge to you. So maybe we could write out the write out the primes where we don't so three we, we don't three seven eleven I'm gonna just bring this on a slide this this way thirty three thirty one forty three forty seven okay, that's where we did not see it and yeah. then write the primes where we did see it next to it so five, five thirteen seventeen twenty nine Seven and forty-one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for something that's the same about these primes, yeah. and something that's the same about these primes, but different. So that we can somehow separate it, so that when we get to a prime like 61 as a prime, okay. which column would that be in? Well, I'm noticing that all of these primes here in this column are one mod four. Okay. Which column? The ones we did not see. So this one here. What about three? Oh, sorry, three mod four is what I meant to say. Okay. And then these are all one. 
These the one less than or negative one mod so four. So these guess. ones, so they be all one mod four. Oh, interesting. So, the ones that are 3 mod 4 are the ones where we did not see minus 1. And the ones that are 1 mod 4... The ones we do. We do. Kind of ironically, the ones that are minus 1 mod 4, we didn't see minus 1 in them. Interesting. Not sure if that's ironic or not. It just is. The numbers just yeah. have that property. But okay, that's cool. So where do you think 61 would be, then? Um, so 61 would be 1 mod 4, so we would see it. We would see, there would be some number that has a... 60. 60. And where do you think 90, uh, I was going to say 93. Um. So well, that's also 1 mod 4. Oh, it's, it's also yeah. not a prime. <laughs> Sorry. Mm, yeah. How about, uh... Um, that wouldn't be one mod four. All right. All right. So maybe we'll go to Mathematica and we'll test our theory whether we see a square or we don't. All right. All right. If minus one is a square. <laughs>